Today, we're back in my 1.18 hardcore world. Ladies, gentlemen, we are on day 900 in this hardcore world, and we have made so much progress around this area. Oh, just look at it. It's amazing. It's wonderful. But wait, I'm seeing a trend here. We have only been building in the overworld, so I want to fix that. And oh my gosh, guys, I have an amazing plan for the day. We're going to make a really cool nether base on both sides of the overworld and in the nether. It's going to be like an interdimensional dimensional base is gonna be so amazing. I can't wait. Let's waste no time. Let's go get to work. So first things first, I want to move that portal somewhere else closer up here because right now it's kind of isolated. It's kind of lonely. I feel bad for it. So let's murder it. Goodbye. So off I went, tearing down the portal and all the blocks that came with it. I then got some grass to fill in the crater and did exactly that. And boom, boom, boom. Oh, whoops. And boom. And look at that. You can never tell there's a portal there ever. Totally natural. So that being said, where are we going to put this bad boy? Should I put it maybe like right here? It kind of fits in perfectly right here next to the library, right in the shadow of the old spot. I mean, nothing was there. Shh. But sure, why not? Let's put it in right over here. Is that tall enough? That looks short. Ah, no, that'll fit. Now to light it. I don't have flint and steel. Wait, can I use a flame bow to light it? Let me try that. Oh, that would be so sick. Hey, Minecraft, free ideas here. Really good ideas. And let's give her a test. Do a ba bam. Oh, it works. And let's see where it takes me. Please, same portal. Please, same portal. Oh, hey, hey, it works. Hey, hey, hey. Why are you here? But huzzah, we have the same portal, which is perfect because I want to build here. Well, do I want to build here? Wait a second. I wonder, could I move this a little bit too? Let's figure it out. Hopefully, I don't get stranded here. That would stink. I kind of like this area, but maybe I go like a little bit closer down there where it's safer. Or maybe, maybe even here with this little dirt. Ah, what's your problem, man? I just got here. I'm your new neighbor. What I was saying is I'm going to maybe put it right here where the dirt structure is. This is like a nice little flat area, I think. You guys are the worst neighbors ever. Hey, why does everybody hate me? He's just mad I'm more handsome than him. Ladies, what do we think? You wish you looked like me, didn't you? This is getting weird. So carrying on. All right, everybody, cross your fingers. Please work. Boom, boom. And ow, I'm having a terrible time so far. Please, please, please. What? Wow, where am I? Why am I here? I don't understand nether portal travel. It just, my brain can't comprehend it. Oh, stop it. Why is everyone so mean to me today? I was having a good day before this, man. All right, let's try it again. I go in here and it puts me back. You know, this is fine. It's fine. I don't care anymore. Well, we have our portal location set. So why don't we begin the process of building? Let's get to work. So at first, I couldn't think of a good idea for a build. And whenever that happens to me, I like to go to a separate creative mode world and actually practice and experiment with things. So I spent the rest of the night just trying to make this build look cool. And by the end of it, I really did like it. And that being said, if you're enjoying the series, please subscribe and hit the bell. I would really appreciate that. Okay, it is a whole day later and oh my gosh, I have an amazing idea. It's going to be the perfect design. But that being said, it's going to require a lot of material. So let's get to chopping as we always do. I'm going to need a lot of oak wood. And would you look at this? My little impromptu tree farm here. I put all the saplings in one big row to try it out. And so far, it's actually kind of growing. Oh, it's so much easier. I take it back. So off I went, harvesting a ton of oak wood for the building and then a little bit of spruce wood for the roof. Hey, forest cat, how you doing? I love seeing you. I then flew down to the mine to get some stone variant blocks for my walls, but then I realized I want to try something new today. So we're going to do some experimenting today. I want to find tough. Because if you didn't know, tough is one of the only blocks that can be a nice kind of like gradient from deep slate cobble to normal cobble. Aha! I was looking for you. I'll take a bunch of you. Oh, there's so much of it. Yes! But do you guys get what I mean? Like, if I do this, and then this, and this in the middle, it has, like, a nice gradient effect. It goes from light to darker to the darkest. And I think that's gonna come in handy today. Hold on a second. Is this not really rare? I'm pretty sure deep slate coal is super rare. Oh, I'm taking you. I like rare stuff. Oh, there's so much of it here. Is this rare? Do you guys- can you guys tell me in the comments, is this actually rare? Why is there so much here? Am I just super lucky right now? And then and like I typically do, I got distracted. I also hear zombies down here. Show yourself. Oh, oh, what? Ah, oh, no. There's a spotter here. Hey, what's up? Stop, 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 stop. Oh, why are there so many? This is like a zombie apocalypse. No, no, no. Why are there so many? What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Golden apple. Cool. I need that right now. Name tag. Oh, three name tags. Hello. Lucky day today. I take it back. I take it back. Take it back. 
Uh, oh, oh, I almost died there from zombies. That would have been embarrassing. I'm tempted to go exploring right now, but I do want to build to... Uh, oh my god, another <gasps> We could make a double zombie spawner. And no chests in here. That's odd. But if I ever want to make some, like, massive zombie factory for rotten flesh for whatever reason, we know our place. But that being said, let's not get too carried away today. Let's get back to work. All right, all right. It is time to begin the build. I am super excited for this. Like, guys, the idea I have for this is making me, like, smile. I'm so excited to try it out. I hope I don't fail and mess it up. But uh, let's get to work. Let's go. Stop, stop, you're ruining everything. Well, spiders aside, guys, guys, what do we think about this building? I'm not gonna lie, it looks a little wonky over here because it's kind of floating in the air. I need to like raise up the mountain here and kind of terraform it a little bit more. But I was not kidding. Look at this thing. Look how amazing it looks. We zombie. We have one big roof, a smaller roof, then a zombie. <laughs> Get off here. Then we have a mini roof right there. And the interior actually looks pretty. Mm. I'm asleep. I don't want to die while I'm showing it off. What I was saying is the interior is actually really big. We got this nice like big hallway here, small door in the back, small door in the front, and then of course an upstairs with that giant area and up here if I kind of sneak up here. Oh, don't die. I have, um, wait, not here. Up there I have the little like balconies on both sides. If I can get up here, look at this. One on one side and then one on the other other side. Also funny story, while I was building this, I accidentally hit the wrong key and the Minecraft narrator turned on and it scared me so bad. Narrator narrates all. What the heck? Oh, that was funny. Oh, also, I wanted to show you guys how I used the tough. Look at this cool like gradient effect. I have cobble and tough on the first floor, then above that I have stone brick and I have andesite. So it kind of has like, again, a gradient effect. It gets lighter as you go up, and I really like that. Also, not to brag, but I love the little nether plants I have here. It's kind of like hanging gardens, but it's nether themed. I just think that's a really cool addition too. But all that being said, I still have a lot of work to do down here. I need to make the interior. I gotta terraform this entire mountain so it doesn't look weird and floaty like it does right now. So I'm gonna go take care of that. First off, I collected a ton of grass. Then I broke all the junk around the area, and I built up a little custom hill with moss on the top. I may have slightly miscalculated here. It's only one block too low. I can try and fix this though Can you imagine if I built this whole thing and the portal didn't work when I moved it and I think I'll put it Right here. Why is this portal so thick? I didn't mean to do that. That looks so weird to me That's like a cursed portal. I'm gonna cover it up a little bit <laughs> still cursed but less cursed You know what I mean? So off I went to decorate the interior of the building and let me just say I pushed my creative limits to the max I never built anything like this before and I love how it came out and are you guys ready for the grand reveal oh my gosh ready three two one ah! check this place out we have our portal right here in front of our door we have tons of barrels for extra like netherrack and stuff and down here we have a nice little farm for nether wart but wait there is more we have ladders here to go up to our second floor which has a nice little bridge between two smaller farms and I might put something else where these farms are I just didn't know what to put here so I just kind of put these as like placeholders but still looks really good then over this way we have an amazing staircase to our balcony level so we have a beautiful site on each side a small table here with just a lamp for no reason at all. But oh my gosh, guys, I love this build. Like, I am not a good interior designer usually, and this, it just looks good. I'm just so proud of it. I think it really is a good interior. But that being said, there's still one little place I haven't touched yet, which is right back here. This back wall is kind of like not needed. So that being said, I have a pretty cool concept to put back here. I'm thinking I do like some big like nether shrine here, but like a big glass wall here. So I'm gonna need some stuff. What's the coolest nether block? Probably like red nether wart, right? That seems like the coolest in my opinion. So here's the idea I have. I kind of want to put like a big red nether cross there. Like it kind of in a way feels like a church to me. I know it's not a church, but it kind of looks like a church to me. So if I put like 
a big cross there. It would kind of look like it fits, maybe. I don't know. Let's try it. That looks scary, but I kind of like it. And some of this. Wait, as a matter of fact, if I take some red dye, I could make the glass all red. That could look really spooky and cool. And oh my gosh, that looks so good. That looks so cool. Oh, I love it. It just looks so like spooky and mystical. Oh, I missed a trap door. <laughs> there we go. Much better. Up there was kind of like... Eh, I don't know if I want to have glass up there. I might remove that. But uh, overall, this big square here looks amazing. All right. I think, I think we're all done with the interior for now. But you know what that means. I told you I want to make an interdimensional house that goes on both sides of the portal. So now I'm going to make this same house in the nether, but make it a little bit different. The plan is to remake the build using only nether blocks. So the first thing I want to do is for one, make sure the portal actually works and takes me to the same spot. I didn't actually test it yet since moving it. So cross your fingers. We are good, I think. Yeah, we're good. Why are there always skeletons in the nether? Uh, uh, I probably want to do something about this little situation here because this is a little bit dangerous So why don't I get some netherrack and try and like reinforce the area here make it a little bit You know wider and safer sounds good to me <laughs> So I grabbed a whole bunch of netherrack and began placing it down at times It got a little bit risky especially when the gas showed up, but don't worry. I managed to survive barely and there we go. A lot more space to work with, a lot more reinforced island here. I feel good. But before we do any building, I gotta take care of something really important. Last episode, I said if the video got 2,000 likes, I would make five netherite hoes. And congratulations, we're making five hoes today. You guys did it. All right, time to go waste some netherite. Unfortunately for me, I'm a man of my word. So give it here. Go in the thing. Oh, wait, I'm dumb. It's already smelted. I just gotta craft it up. All right, give me some of these. Eight. Oh, that should. Is that enough? All right, diamonds, come here. This is gonna be painful. And I'm gonna craft five diamond hoes, and then I'm gonna convert these into netherite using a smithing table. So I go, but ba bam Oh, this is gonna hurt. Oh, Oh, achievement! Serious dedication. All right, dude. You don't gotta rub it in like that. There's two, three, four, and five. Okay, I feel like I wasted my entire life. But that being said, if this video gets 2,000 likes, I will blindfold myself and spend 60 seconds in a mob spawner. That could end very poorly. But on the bright side, it is kind of cool that I have these hoes now because I wanted to make a silk touch and a fortune hoe for chopping down trees and chopping down nether wart. So I'll put three of you guys in here and I'll save you two to be my very special friends. That sounds weird. So shall we go enchanting? Give me some lapis and we go like this and like this and I get a fortune three first try. Okay. What about you? What can I get on you? Oh, I don't have enough. And you guys should be the last of it. Yes. Please, 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 please. Hello there, friends. Where's the Silk Touch guy? Give me one of those. Thank you very much. And just like that, we have the perfect set of hoes. I don't like how that sounds. All right, all right. We've had our fun, but now let's get back to the main goal, which is making this big building in the nether. So let's go get some materials and let's get to work on this thing. I swear, if I see a ghast come and shoot my building, there's gonna be a war in here. Happy thoughts, Farzi. Happy thoughts. Let's get to work. Considering we just built this building today, we know how it's gonna go. But the difference is getting materials here is gonna be very, very risky and difficult. I have to go fight through hoglins to get this red crimson wood. After securing the wood, we then went down to the mine to get some stones, and just like that, it was time to build. Now introducing my nether base. Guys, look at this place. I know you've seen this layout before already, but having the red wood, it just looks so spooky and mystical and awesome. There are a few differences though. I didn't put any barrels in here. Instead, I put like little chunks of nether blocks like obsidian and nether wart. I also put the portal on the opposite end of the house because over here, I'm gonna put something else that I'll talk about pretty shortly. And oh man, my favorite part of the whole build is behind this door. I have 
have an elytra landing pad so if i go flying out somewhere i can land right back here and get right back to the house and oh my gosh look at it from far away oh that looks so sick with the fog dude that looks so cool i love it i love it so much but that being said i gotta take care of something else in this place i want to add two very special blocks inside of here one i want to add a lodestone so i can find my way back here from traveling in the nether so how do i make one of those lodestone i need netherite for that no one told me that well you gotta do what you gotta do oh my gosh hello friends why are you invading my <laughs> How many guys went into the portal and I wasn't looking? There's so many in here. Hey, can I just get by? Thanks. All right, do I have any of this stuff left? Hopefully I do. And boom, lodestone, baby, let's go. Oh, they're all gone. I'm not gonna lie, I kind of enjoyed it. And now I'll hop up here and I can smack down this lodestone, maybe right up here, like that. Smack it with this compass that I named and boom, nether base. I now have a compass that leads to my nether base. And the other thing I wanted to put in here was an ender chest, which I think I have in one of these shulker boxes, right? Maybe, yes, I do. And the reason I want to do this is so I can put a flint and steel in here so I will never Ever, ever get stuck in here ever if you ask me it's a really good idea but now it's time to fill up this area like I teased that earlier and we're gonna put a piglin trade farm right here that way we have a way to farm up quartz and obsidian very easily so let's get to work and by the way if you want to build this farm for yourself I have an old video on this exact design so I will link it down below disclaimer I used to be cringe back then and there we go, the farm is done, except for putting the piglins inside of here. I need to trap two piglins in each of these pens. And I gotta make sure that they don't despawn. But lucky for us, as you saw earlier, I found some name tags in that mob spawner, which means I can name tag the piglins so they won't despawn. How many do I have total? I have five, all right, just need four. And their names will be Jimmy, one through four. <laughs> all right, so here comes the hard part. I'm gonna have to get them in here without them killing me first. Hello, gold guys, where you at? So at first, this seemed pretty easy. Get in here. You got it. Hop in. Yes. And I just gotta patch it up. All right. Got him. And that is Jimmy number one. But then this turned into a nightmare really quick. We had piglins doing parkour to avoid the farm. One of them legit jumped over the hole when I smacked him. And as we all suspected, they started killing each other. He just shot the other piglin that I named. Oh, by the way, it happened twice. But by the end of it, I did manage to finish the farm. Get in, yes, okay, good, good. And he's wearing gold pants, I think we are all set. That was a struggle, but let's see if our hard work paid off. Let me take out my gold, throw the gold back here in this chest and test the farm. Yes, gold's coming out, all right. And they're gonna toss me stuff, right? Yes, yes, they have it. Yes, it's working, we're getting loot. Oh, thank goodness, that was like the worst thing of my life. That was so, so frustrating to do. <laughs> Oh, would you look at it? We're getting so much cool stuff. Oh, I love this farm so much. And I think we're out. Okay, the only downside to the farm is I need gold to power it. So if I don't have a lot of gold, I can't use this often. But luckily, I have like a decent amount, so I should be okay. But that also means one day I gotta make a gold farm. So that'll be a future episode idea. But that being said, I am done in the nether. Guys with the gold, please don't despawn. Please don't despawn. I will actually cry. Oh man, did I miss seeing grass. That was way too like red in that dimension. But now, there's still some more things I want to do today. One of them involves down here by my fishing village thing. In case you missed it, last episode we made this giant harbor and village. And this past weekend I actually started to decorate the buildings here. I made this really big building a boat shop. So there's small boats in here, there's small canoe rentals in here. Check out these little things. Oh, it came out so good, I love them. And over here we have a fishing rod shop. A place to store and sell fishing rods like these bad boys or my personal favorite one, which is somewhere? Is it in here? Okay, there it is. <laughs> I got scared for a sec. But anyways, back to the plan. Obviously, this harbor is massive. So my plan in general, you know, throughout the whole series is every episode to do something down here, whether it's like, you know, a big new building or a small little boat added, but something. So that being said, let's do something here today. And it's going to be a very simple thing. I want to add some boats in the water. And I figure it'll be pretty easy to do because I already have a nice little canoe design here. So we're going to put some small boats in the water and have them sailing around the place. So first I need some spruce wood. I need more bone meal, don't I? Man, I still really 
really need to make a skeleton farm. I just, I can't find a skeleton spawner is the issue, but if I find one, oh, I am going to make the best farm of all time. Oh no, there's so many leaves in the way. What am I gonna do? Oh wait, I have enchanted hoes. This is why I wanted to have a fortune hoe, because now I can get so many saplings so easily. All right, all right, I got some wood, so now it's building time. Well, let's hop over here in the dock and let's make our first one right here, right in between the two sides. Side note, I hate building in the water. It's so difficult. And boom, there we go. There's one finished small boat. It could be a little bit better in some areas, but overall, I like it. But now it's time to go build some more of these. I'm gonna build a few more of these exact same boats all around the harbor, and maybe one day, not today, but one day, we can build like big boats, like big cargo ships. That sounds awesome. Hello, sailors, how you doing? Oh, come get on the boat, come here. Come sailing, oh, they can't swim. Lifeguard, where are you? Wait, that's a lighthouse. Oh no, they can't swim and they're spinning. All right, back to building. Whoa, what you doing there, buddy? You're not a sailor, where's your sailor's license? But there we go, we got five boats in this world. I think they look good. The only downside is you can't see the banners from far away. Like if I fly over here and look back over that way, you see you can't see them all. But you know what? I'm okay with it because I still think they look wonderful and it's a great addition to shut up to our harbor. So guys, I'm going to end it here. Make sure to like, subscribe, do all the good stuff. And I'll talk to you guys next time. So until then, goodbye.